Hi you guys, I hope you can see you know, but I am so happy today because I finally got home this songbook with the stage musical version of Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, so you see the reason why they do not really have the Disney logo here is because this musical is very dark, very unusually dark for Disney Disney product and production and you, and you can kind of understand that because the original movie is is like if the Disney animated movie is also very very dark but but this one is even darker so they don't really put the Disney logo here but they are still not not leaving that out still not like they are still saying that it was originally developed by Disney Theatrical Productions and it says based on the Victor Hugo novel with songs from the Disney film so you still get the idea that it is uh, it, that it is a little bit more in inspired by the Victor Hugo novel here but it still also have the Disney songs and so you still get the idea that it is a little bit darker this time <laughs> so so yeah so it might not be super family friendly but still I still think it's awesome and yes and here we have this beautiful beautiful book and here's the back of it so I'm gonna do a little review of it and because there are some 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 stuff to be aware of here there's a lots of songs going on and and yeah I and I'm uh, of course gonna compare here a little bit this movie version too but first of all you can, can, can I'm gonna give you a quick flip quick flip through as usual this song books are released by Hal Leonard and here we have, and here we says of course, for Hunchback of Notre Dame, we have of course the music by Alan Menken, lyrics by Steven Swart, and for the stage music here, book by Peter Pan. And yes, it looks very, it has very, looks very red, very dramatic, very beautiful. And yes, let's see very quickly what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, yes, so so in different smaller song books, it doesn't really have like pictures from the productions or anything. Like um, like you do with movie books or musical books, but still, it's still nice. We have the songs here, Bells of Notre Dame, we have a little bit with the new stuff. But the biggest thing to be aware of here is that they don't really have the whole songs. They don't have yeah, the whole songs. They, they try to keep the the most important part, but some of the like like other stuff like, that come up, comes up like in the middle or something like that, the, those parts they kind of skip and cut up out, and they kind of sometimes take the beginning of the song and then they hope to the jump to like the end of the song, and yeah, they they leave out a lot of parts here. So yeah, that's the thing to be aware of, especially with, with the new songs. Um, if we can go over to these, some of them, like um the Western Recreation song, for for example, we have like the beginning here and. And some more stuffs here, but you see how it ends very quickly. See, they, so they don't really have the middle part of it, and stuff, stuff like that, and not even the end. So yeah, that, that's a little bit sad. I was can, but I was prepared for it because I have read all the reviews about it. So I knew that it wasn't going to be the whole songs, and I guess they want they had to cut it cut it down a little bit because you see here there is so many songs in this musical, and and that's also including the songs from the movie. So I guess if they had the whole songs, it would have been a little bit too long, and maybe they kind of thought like some parts of the songs are very talk talking, singing at the same time. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that's also is a reason. But I think the biggest reason is that that it might be a certain limit for how long these songbooks may be, especially someone that is focusing on only one musical. So I guess the, the, that's the main reason that it would have been too long, like a too too the book would have been a little bit too big for. Big thing. So I guess that's the biggest reason why. But still, I still think it's think it's worth buying. Like if you, if you really like the songs, I definitely think it it's worth buying. I do like it, so I'm definitely gonna play it still. And yeah, I'm so happy to like have have this one standing next to the the movie songbook. And yeah, a little bit comparison, and just a super quick comparison. It is that that here we have like. Yeah, like pictures here, this one doesn't, but still we have like the whole complete song of every song. We even have the intro of the song, it definitely as you hear it in the movie and in the soundtrack, while they here kind of leave out. So this one is definitely 100% complete, while they in this one leave out some some stuff from like the intro and the stuff like that. All the stuff that you hear 
on, on the soundtrack will not be in the songbook. So, but it is still okay. I still really like it. I'm so happy now to have both of them standing here together. And it's going to be so much fun to play it. So, hope you liked this big review and, don't, and leave a comparison. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a super awesome comment on Instagram. Bye everyone!